In this lesson, we'll learn about the different types of bolted joints and how their mechanics make them different from each other. It's important to learn this distinction because picking the right fasteners for each joint type is crucial for the performance of the bolted joint. For example, two of the most commonly used bolts are the partially threaded and the fully threaded bolts. Choosing the wrong bolt type in a bolted joint design can lead to the failure of the bolt and ultimately the joint itself. Depending on the types of load supported, the bolted joints can be classified into two types, the tension joints and the shear joints. Each type has a different mechanism and therefore has different design requirements. Some bolted joints may need to support both the types of loads, in which case the joint shares both the design requirements. Now let's look into the mechanism of these two joint types, starting with the tension joints. The tension joints are used for transferring tensile forces between the clamped parts. The external force acts along the axis of the bolt and as a result, it adds to the existing preload in the bolt. So, the tension in the bolt shank increases beyond the initial preload. It's important to keep in mind that the bolt can experience plastic deformation during operation even if it's within the elastic region during installation. The design requirement for such joints includes proper selection of bolt thread accounting for the maximum external load that it may be subjected to. In case of shear joints, the bolted joint predominantly transfers shear forces between the clamped parts. In this case, the friction between the fastener heads and the components plays a crucial role. The friction force is directly proportional to the preload in the bolt, as the preload is responsible for creating the normal contact pressure between the fastener heads and the components. So, once again, bolt preload is a critical design requirement for the shear joints. If the applied force is greater than the maximum frictional force between the parts, then it results in gross sliding and eventually leads to failure of the joint. Also, in this type of joint, the bolt is under shear loads. So, its shear strength is another important requirement for the design. Due to this reason, partially threaded bolts are generally preferred for such joints.